Uh, welcome everyone to the second test between Australia and the West Indies. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're too slow because everyone watched this last night. They watched it live last night. Uh, and if you're watching this live and you're like, Dean, I'm watching it now. Well, okay, whatever. You're cool. Uh, we're going to get stuck in here. Australia and the West Indies. Test number two. And we lost the first one because we were utter rubbish. Steve Smith's, of course, the captain. Pat Cummins out of the side, Scotty Boland in. We've made some changes to the West Indies as well. And we've won the toss. Now, I've been told that batting first is a terrible idea. So I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> because if I bat first and I get rolled for 150, which is probably the most likely scenario here, then I know that it's going to be a three video series. And that's less editing for me. All right. Uh, hang on. Okay, whatever. First ball. No run. As Goat hits it with a 38 by threes up. Get around him. And we're off the mark. And a lovely shot there by David Warner. That is going all the way to the boundary. And he hits with a prime as well. Ah, get around him. Yes. That's a beautiful first over. Ten runs coming from it. And the pink ball, Australia, is absolutely ripping into it. All right, Alzari Joseph around the wicket here. Usman's Sukuaja strike around the wicket that's swinging in it's gonna be interesting we had that obviously first innings where I just left it and, and it uh, absolutely plumbed oh that is a horrific delivery that is five free runs that is Steve Harmison esque which makes it a back foot yep. shot that is a lovely drive from Uzi it's a long boundary straight at the Adelaide Oval if you've never been there Straight boundaries are where the goals are normally situated, so that's why it's so long. Oh, was that dropped or was that misfielded? Because Warner got that away. Lovely. Got it away. No, it wasn't. It was a misfield. That's actually a good bit of fielding because that was four if he didn't get a hand on it. 40 rated in the field. Yep. It's not very good. As well as he gets this away as well. And that's going to be four to the mid-wicket boundary. Four overs gone. Australia a none for 37. No. It's because they've actually bowled poorly. That's the only reason I've made a lot of runs. Generally, if a team bowls well, they bowl it to the left armers. They're going round the wicket and they're angling it uh, and swinging it away. That is the most difficult to play uh, from a batting perspective in this game, I reckon. They've also had a few stinkers like that. That's a horrific, horrific ball. Warner just puts it away, especially with this field. Oh, that is a ripper. I've probably played this off the back foot, which is wrong. But that's the first wicket just before the 50 partnership comes up. Uzi out for 19 from 29. It's one for 48. If I play this off the front foot, I'll probably hit it too. But off the back foot, just leaves it. And that hits the top of off. That is a ripper. Absolute ripper. Yep. Oh, I didn't really deserve to get that away, but I will. It'll be a couple of runs. 153. Hey. Free runs. That'll be five. Actually, that's four buys. I don't know why it's not five. But no, that makes more sense now. Oh, it's an edge, and that's the end of Marnus. Two for 61. Marnus out for four. It's two for 61, as we said. That is runs. That is runs. That is... Oh, I thought it was going to be four. Just the three. Wait. Bang, that's no runs. That should have been five million. It's a great shot. You're gonna, you could hit over the top here if you really wanted to. Oh, that's a nick. And that is a ripping catch by the keeper. I don't know how any of that worked because... The edge shouldn't have gone there. The keeper shouldn't have taken it. But that is a great uh, result for the West Indies. And it's the debutante who gets the breakthrough wicket of Stephen Smith. De Silva just jumping in front of Braithwaite, absolutely stealing his catch. Smith out for three. It's uh, three for 70. Yes, Davey. Oh, it's Travis. Travis heads off the mark actually with that shot. And for the first time today, no, we haven't hit a boundary down to the, down the ground. It's so hard. It's such a long boundary down there. 
Yes. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. No, it was it was short and wide, and I thought I'm going to go at it. Warner out for a runnable 45. Ah, it's disappointing. It's a bottom edge, I think, in the end. And Mindley gets another one, or Mindley. Mindley. It's probably Mindley. He gets another one. Cameron Graheen comes out to the middle, joins Travis Head, and it is four for 83. Off 16 overs. Yes. Oh, good fielding, but Green's like, I'm running this anyway. Yes. Oh, he's got away with that. That's an edge. Surprised the keeper didn't dive 10 metres to take it. Cameron Green gets a life. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. It's just slower. And it's just easy to see what happens. You know you don't have to smash everything. Like, oh, I know, but it's so hard when you get in the mood. And then, we were like two for 70. What happened? It's now five for 88. Yeah. Nice. That's a great shot from Travi. Should be four. Surprised there's been no spin here as well. That's probably the reason we're still at five down. Yeah. Mate, Pandemic Era was when I streamed the most. I'd stream like 200 hours a month. Actually, that's probably a bit excessive. I think I would stream 100 hours in a month, especially during May when I streamed every single day. That is a bad shot. Should have pulled it. And this bloke has three for 15 on debut. Why? Yeah. Oh, that's more runs. Mitchell Stark. This is problematic because 20 overs in and my bowlers are in. The good thing is I've scored at a good enough rate to actually be able to make a competitive score. Oh, that is an inside tickle. But Mitchell gets away with a single. Look at that. That's just out of the middle. And the aggressive nature of this innings is probably what's keeping our team in it. Yeah, that's runs. And this has been probably one of the better shots, uh, or the better shots, yeah, we've played today. It's been that down the ground on drive. Got us a, the bulk of our runs. Where have we been scoring today? Let's find out. Most of our runs, uh, it says to the on side, but I don't know whether that works for right hand or left handers. Um, yeah, we've got a fair few runs there down the ground, through mid wicket, through the covers. A little bit square, but mostly in front of square have been the bulk of the runs. Yep, yep. Great shot. That's been our, our most prime scoring uh, zone today, as we just saw. Travis Head finds a boundary. And we'll leave it again. It's 6 for 136 at the end of the first session. Partnership building. Not the worst result. As it is Australia, 6 for 136. You can see the scorecard here. Smith and Labuschagne missing out. So did Carey and Green. Uh, and it's Travis Head and Mitchell Starkey trying to recuperate for the Aussies after they were none for 48. With that opening partnership, David Warner, still the current top scorer. Mindley on debut. Marquinho Mindley, 3 for 25. Outstanding for the West Indies. Jason Holder has a couple. Kemar Roach with one to his name as well. And that's where we stand at the end of the afternoon session. Wait. Yes. Stark gets that away. And that will be... Close to four. Will it get there? Yes. Yay. Free runs. Let's take that. That'll be four buys to end the over. Six, one, 47. No. The partnership was just getting along nicely. Vanda says, going to get a Milo. Definitely going to lose a wicket now. And he couldn't have been more correct. Outside edge of Mitchell Stark. Mitchell Stark. He's my own undoing. He's out for 24. It's 7 for 147. I think we're... As we bring up the 150, we might go into Basball territory shortly. Look at the field here. Plenty of gaps down the ground. Oh! I've chipped it back to the bowler. Travis Head is out. Oh. That's a good take. Roston Chase. 
Eight for 150. Why'd you have to get a Milo? Why'd you have to get a Milo? <laughs> no, well, Hazelwood's out, everyone, so he's not going to be doing anything interesting. He's out for four. It's nine for 154. In the air, and Nathan Lyons hit the four. Little Scotty. On your gaz. Overgone. Nine for 158. On the road to 200. Scotty Boland gets off the mark with a couple. Could see that happening. 161. The result. And I think there's only one man to blame. <laughs> It all happened so fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. He gave us a warning. We all knew about it. Anyway, there's an opportunity now because Australia will have some chances under the lights. A little bit later on, how will Mitchell Stark start us off? Catch it! Oh, Mitchell! Mitchell! This is straight back to you, lad. Oh mate, that's that's a that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, I'm with that guy. Hey, John, it doesn't carry. Gee, this is good. Run him out. They get their opening run. Vander says, "What happened? <laughs> hey, you went to get a Milo. You ruined that. We we told you what would happen if you you left to get a Milo." And that's what happened. Oh, run him out. He's so far out. Oh, what is that? I'll do what I like. Thank you. Yes. Ah, oh, it's a shot. That's four. Chanda Paul gets it away through to deep third for a boundary. Clearly isn't working. But when it does... Huh? Huh? Yes. Oh, that was in the air. Fiddle will stop this being more than just the one. Well done, Cameron Green. Yep. It's too straight. I'm swinging it in effectively. I just haven't been able to get the... Uh, the, the, the yeah. That. It needs to hit the top of off. It's none for 40. But remember, Australia was none for 40 as well. Um, but they were, obviously... They did it in about six overs. So the bowling economy of what I've done in this match has been far better than what... Uh, they will manage to do. Their rate's 3.53 with the bat. We were much uh, more efficient with our runs. Oh, Scotty. Scotty, mate. That's a ripper. Oh, there's not a run there. Run him out, Mitchell. Oh, that is the slowest throw ever. Have we gone? None for 47. West Indies. Continuing to uh, find a way to score. Do I think Scott Boland's overrated? Absolutely not. He's a class bowler. That oh, he's got the wicket, Scotty! Scotty has done it! Yes! Let's go! Delivers the first breakthrough. Scotty does it. And it wasn't even a no ball. Sucked in. Scotty's got one at the Adelaide Oval. Great breakthrough that by Scotty. Good result for Australia. It's one for 52. And they bring on the spinner straight away. Not a run. Never a run in that. Oi, inside edge. Probably saved Brathwaite there because Scotty was honing in on the stumps. Absolute scandal. Oh, that is it. So disappointing. Another edge goes to ground. One for 74, and after 23. And that is the end of the twilight session of play. We'll come back out under lights, which is supposedly hard to bat under. In case you forgot how we collapsed, it was off the back of the spin of Roston Chase. He took four for 15. De debutante Marquinho Mindley had three for 25 as well. And uh, Australia with the ball in response, just Scotty Boland. The only breakthrough so far, one for 15. Uh, getting ta Tag and Ryan Chander Paul out for 30. 
Mitchell Stark to start us off with the new session. And he's hit away, straight away. By right, Brooks for runs. I don't have the time for it. Yes, he's got him! Chops it on! Stark gets the wicket. Just sat it up there. Gets a little inside edge and Brathwaite disappointing. Two for 77. Under lights, I'm telling you, Stark is going to be good. Jermaine Blackwood to the crease. Now yeah, Josh Hazel coming in. Look at, look at the field. We're going back of the length almost every ball here. It's going to be short. Oh, this is good. Then we'll get the spinner back on. That's not a run. That is not a run. You can run him out, Scotty. Why don't you throw it at the other end? No, it's a no ball. The first one of the day. And it's a top edge for four. Oh, there's nothing more frustrating in this game than that shot. Oh, yeah. Oh. And now an edge that goes through first slip. Wow. That is cruel. Tidy bowling. In the air and in the gap. Four runs to end the over. Bowling under the lid. Interesting. He's a sharp fielder. Catch that. Oh, it's over the top. It's well played. That's... Oh, look at where he is. It's going down. How is that? It's close. Oh, I think it's going uh, too far across the offside. Oh, jeez. If it held its line, it's out. Like, I mean, if it if it just kept going straight on, it's out. Feels like you need an outswinging Yorker that pitches on leg. Oh, it's too good. Cut away, Jermaine Blackwood. To the boundary. And they are now only 17 behind. Oh, how has it missed the stumps? It's just marginally gone over. Oh, Cameron, that is nice. That's the difference. I probably nicked that if I'm batting. They're just playing and missing. And then you hit that. Like, that's frustrating as a bowler. When you get two plays and misses, and then out of the middle down to third. Oh, good fielding. Run him out, Scotty. Oh, what happened there? It's like he decided to jog. Look, right here. If you pick this up, you can get him out for sure. And look it over from Scotty. He's been our best, clearly. 2-1-5-9. More single. Bowls and Gaz. Oh, run out. That's out. <laughs> Finally. A beautiful run out. Nathan Lyon delivers the goods. A bit of excellence in the field. And this is Blackwood gone. He must have hesitated. But it was about time they'd had too many quick singles and I felt like our fielders really needed to get in there. Lion delivers. Blackwood out for 44. It's three for 161. Jeez, and there's a packed house here at the Adelaide. Oh, how is that throw? He's really just done a number on his wrist. Big wicket late in the day's play. That is it. If we can get another one, that'd be huge. Oh! Inside edge onto the pads. Three slips. And he's found the gap. Come on, Gaz, run him out again. How's the throw? Oh! <laughs> Over or two in. Edge, and I've got four slips, and it still goes. How is that one? It's probably too high. How did that one miss the stumps? That's what I want to know. How was it missed? Oh, I thought for a second he would have edged it straight to one of my slips. How many overs left in the day's play? Not completely sure. It's 8.52. So that's probably three overs. Oh, Mitchell. How we got? 8.56. One over left, you reckon? Oh, yeah. 
359. Jeez, I think this is going to be the last over of the day. Oh, my word. What is that? Now, um, this is likely the last ball of the day's play. Oh, and he keeps it down, Mayers. And that will be it. Oh, oh, oh. So that takes us through to stumps on day one on a... Not a great day, let's be honest. <laughs> Three wickets. And we were rolled for 161. Uh, and there's sort of the story of the day. Australia not good enough with the bats. The West Indies too good with the bats. That takes us to the end of day one. West Indies with a lead of 23 runs. Three wickets down.